out our range shuffle, we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look at and see what the challenge is. And then we'll see what the outcome is going to be. Don't forget there's a closed caption button right below the video. If you can't hear me, try some headphones or click the closed caption button. It says CC and text will appear on the screen. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, Three of Cups paired with the Nine of Swords. Now, the Three of Cups, it's actually considered to be a card of reunions, but it's not always a romantic reunion. It can be the type of reunion, possibly, about running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. So, with the Three of Cups, it's considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration. Your own or someone that you care about may be celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of happy occasion. Now, it's with the Nine of Swords, which is showing there's a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at, at um, whether or not any of that is under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort. Enjoy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty is. So the recent past energy between you and your person, Three of Cups, clarified by this Nine of Swords. So what I'm getting for a lot of you Pisces or some of you, you could have been thinking about to, thinking about reaching out to someone that's on your mind or maybe a long lost love or someone that you used to be with and it's, it caused you some anxiety it's like it's like oh no should I or shouldn't I it just it made you kind of like maybe you had nightmares about what could go wrong yeah so you want to reach out to someone that you thought about but you must it looks like maybe you were unsure you didn't know what their situation was. You didn't know how they would receive you. So you had some sleepless nights. Somebody you wanted to reach out to. Somebody that you used to know. Yeah, you could be thinking about a long lost love. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Ace of Pentacles. And the magician of Ace of Pentacles. You could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. They'll be very positive new beginnings. You could be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new. This could be work or it could be personally. And so the magician. Now the magician also signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply if we simply try. But you have to know that with a magician, you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. You will not. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, if you don't know what to do, then do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. 
So, Pisces, for a lot of you, you're manifesting a lot of new beginnings. Yeah, it looks like you're ready for a new lease on life. Because you got two new beginning cards here. On several levels. So, yeah, you're trying to make something happen. And because you got the magician here, which is also about new beginnings, it looks like you, yeah, you're trying to manifest a lot of great new things. And it looks like you could be manifesting this return. You're manifesting somebody to come back. Yeah. You're manifesting a whole lot, and one of them is the return of someone that you used to know. They're still in the picture here. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Eight of Wands, and it's with the Emperor. The Eight of Wands is showing a lot of things could be up in the air. You could feel tired of waiting and frustrating, but it's indicated to be patient a while longer. You've done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when you get this Eight of Wands in your reading, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things. And, and I say this because if you try to force things, it could actually backfire on you. So, just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So, it's with the emperor. The emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you must think about when you get this card in a reading. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration, maintain your focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So... Enjoy the assertiveness and enjoy the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Yeah, the Emperor is a type of really cold type of energy. This person only uses his head and not his heart. So your challenge, Pisces, Eight of Wands, clarified by the Emperor. So, yeah, with this Eight of Wands here, it looks like you, you're going forward to reach out to someone that you... You want back in. You want to return to someone that you used to know. You reached out. You put in the text. You put in the calls. You put in that you want to communicate. But it seems like things are just up in the air. Yeah, and it looks like when you do hear back from this person, it's going to give you like a kind of cold type of energy. Yeah, the emperor out. Well, the emperor is just a cold energy. If this person, they could feel like they're not opening up. Um, they don't want to come across as being vulnerable. They might not show any emotion. The emperor could be a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. Yeah, so, yeah, when the communication comes down, when it comes back to you finally, it's, it's saying right here that it's going to be a really cold type of energy. Not very warm. The person will not be very warm at all. Yeah, the emperor is the type that would rather have you die wanting to know what's in their heart. So, that is the challenge. Now we move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is. Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups um, can be very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to work, and that's even possible even if we work in a factory all day rather than people. So things are be better in your working world or your life when you get the Queen of Cups in a reading. Queen of Cups... And the King of Cups. Whenever you see those cards, just know that that's a very loving energy. And what's in the cups? 
is love. Yeah, those are two of the most loving cards in the deck. Very, very loving, compassionate type of energy. Now, through the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles can indicate that you could be spending time, money, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This could be a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's a time period when you can get a lot accomplished. So the outcome, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I said, the energy of this person that you looks like you might have man tried to manifest in the beginning with, it's just not that inviting. It's not warm at all. Maybe they're already in a relationship. Or maybe they just, sometimes people are just not ready when you are. And then you get that vibe, like, oh boy, why did I reach out? Yeah, this person could have a lot going on. And it could be, maybe something's draining them, draining their energy. or You never know what people are going through. So I wouldn't take it personally. So it looks like you go on towards falling back. Because the Queen of Pentacles, the card below the word outcome, she falls back. She takes comfort in the ordinary things. You see how she's sitting in her lounge chair on the backyard. She's smiling because life is good, even though you didn't get the manifestation that you wanted with someone from the past. You didn't get that, or at least not now. But I'm getting that it's the energy is just not inviting. So you, you take to what is good. She's in her backyard. She's smiling. She's got money in the bank. She's got this huge pinnacle. When you hear the word pinnacle in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. So she's counting her blessings. She's got money in the bank. She's got her dog that loves her like, like no one else. He's keeping her toes, her feet warm, the birds and the squirrels in the backyard. Yeah, they, 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 they're happy she's feeding them. So you fall back, Pisces. That's what it looks like you're doing. Queen of Pentacles falls back and just be appreciative for what she does have. And then you work on your new beginnings, your other new beginnings, because you got this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you're ready for love, though. We got the Queen of Cups here. So now it's about trying to find out who to give it to. You got a lot of great new beginnings coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. So I'm getting the feeling that it will not take long for you to give that cup to someone special. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below of the... But there's also a link below for personal reads if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this did not resonate. 
maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles can be switched when you get these readings. They can, yes, they can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or some type of situation. Take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.